Hi, it's um, Gary and Cheryl from the Great Commission. And uh, we went to the mall today, it was just us. And we had just a phenomenal time. Um, we prayed for a lady, Robin, who has MS and um, was in one of those little carts and she was really uh, a blessing to talk to and she was, she said she was blessed by our prayers and we told her she had MS, we said, expect a healing, expect to get better and better and uh, she was a blessing to speak with. We prayed for Alex, whose parents were deported to Colombia, and he's all here all alone, all by himself, getting ready to um, go to college and trying to get his parents back here for, from Colombia. So he's really all alone. And we prayed, the first person we prayed to was, prayed for. Uh, or prayed for, was a, a gentleman named Todd. He was at the mall with his, uh, I think his niece and his daughter, and they were getting their nails done, and he he was he was just being patient, sitting in one of the lounge chairs and and resting up, waiting for his daughter and his niece to have a good time at what they were there to do. So we came up and asked him if he if we could pray for him, and spoke with him a little bit, and asked him if he knew Jesus, and he did. He shared with us he's a Baptist. He goes to some Baptist church nearby, and so we prayed for him and prayed for a blessing over him and his family. And and um, we also prayed for fire to come down. He seemed to be pretty excited about that. <laughs> and uh, we prayed for some fire in his belly that he would be excited and hungry for the things of God. And uh, he thanked us for our time with him. And, uh, and then his daughter and niece came out from whatever store they were in and he introduced us to them. and. So he, he was pretty happy, and we were happy, too, to get to meet and pray for Todd. Let's see. We saw our Jewish friends, our six or eight Jewish vendors that we speak to regularly. We spoke a blessing over them. We prayed actually for, with, for Israel with them because they said, although it's not on the news, there's a lot of ter terrorist attacks there right now because of Ramadan. So we prayed for their country. Um, we prayed. We we had like a, an open door at one place, where, the same place we met Todd, uh, spoke just a minute ago. But we, so we, we, we spoke to Todd as I shared, and then I turned around after we spoke and prayed for him, I turned around and Cheryl had already uh, began a conversation with Robin, who was the one with MS and was in a, a like a, not a walker, but one of these electric chairs. And, uh, and it was all right in the same area. And then we finished with Robin, turned around, and there was this gentleman sitting in the, in the chair where Todd would, had been sitting before and so we just walked right two steps over in front of him. And and uh, so I asked him, I said, we're in the mall. We're trying to, uh, uh, we're praying for people. But I, I said, do you know Jesus? And he, he said, well, yes, I do. And he had this big smile on his face. And so he stood up and shook my hand and we introduced ourselves. And he was very excited. Come to find out that he, he was a member of Grow Church. And uh, they were at our church. What do you, where is that place they call it? Where, where well, they, they were at the... With Mario, Mario Morello. Morello. They were there. And uh, so his name is Dominic. And so we were praying for him. He had some uh, health issue. Like um, a sore throat. He something. had a sore throat, actually. And it was like something was trying... He was trying to come down with something. So we prayed healing over him. And he lit up like a... Like a Christmas tree. Christmas tree. And then as just when we finished praying for healing for him, his wife, Debbie, walked up. And, uh, you know, you could tell by the look on her face, she was like curious what was going on there, what, what we were doing there. So we shared with her and then she started smiling and she, she was all excited to see people out sharing the gospel and praying for people. And uh, anyway, we exchanged information. we 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 want to probably follow up with them just personally with us. We we can't say everything that we did for time's sake, but um, 
But Dominic and Debbie also, the Lord gave me a prophetic word for both of them uh, in their spiritual life. And, and I shared that with them and they were all excited. But the, the exciting thing about it was they were good Christians also and strong Christians. And so they prayed for us and spoke a mm -hmm. blessing over us too. So we were extremely blessed, not only by the Lord and, and sharing with them, but in them sharing with us and imparting to us. So that, that was a real kiss from the Lord there with Debbie and Dominic. We really appreciated that. We did talk to Adolfo. He's the guy that sells the Crystal 3D. And I've talked to that guy several times, but I don't think we've ever um, had the opportunity to really present the gospel, and we did today. And we the cool thing about that, I was interested, of course, you know, this was my first time out to the mall to share, and I was pretty excited about that. But because of the circumstances, it was just Cheryl and I, so I was really interested in the 3D crystal that, that he had on display there, and, I, and we were looking to uh, use his services to do something for one of our sons that's getting married here in the next few weeks. So anyway, we started a conversation just very briefly about that. But then it was so cool because the Lord opened it up. Uh, we started to talk, ask him about Jesus and his relationship with Jesus, and he was Catholic, and so, but that was a good common springboard to spring off with it. And so I asked him if we could pray for him, if he had any, any hurts or pains or anything. And he didn't have anything, but it seemed like he was holding something back. He wasn't telling us everything. So we prayed for him and a little bit of a prophetic prayer also that the Lord was speaking to us as we were praying and he, he just started to light up. He just felt so at home in the presence of the Lord there. He shared after we finished praying with him and speaking over him, he shared that he, he just felt so good because he was not having a good day or maybe it was just this day. I, could, I didn't understand if he just had a bad day today or had some problems with something today or if it was something in the recent past but he, he was thrilled to pieces because the Lord just ministered to him through our prayers and words spoken over him. That, that was really good. We, we were really glad to be there with Adolfo today. That, that, that was a good thing. We, we encouraged him to cultivate his relationship with Jesus. To, we prayed for hunger and thirst, uh, for him to desire more than anything, to draw near to the Lord and, and to love Jesus. and. So he was all excited, and we were all excited, too. So. And we're going to take him back a Spanish Bible. We are going to take he, him back. He indicated he would like that, and he would read it. He's not, he sounded, you know, pretty, not very, um, not a practicing Catholic at all. So he was very open and very interested and very appreciative. Yes, he, he could speak really good English. I mean, I was kind of surprised that he, we were going to give him a, a tr like one of these follow-up tracks, you know, and he said, "Oh, it can't be in English; it has to be in Spanish." That's because he doesn't read or understand English very good. So, so that's when we'll, we'll we'll get him a Spanish Bible and bring it back to him next week. So, you know, we talk about going to the nations, and when you go to the mall, you are going <laughs> to the nations because he was Argentinian. Yeah. Um, we had Israelis. We had, um, yeah. oh, goodness, Colombians. You Colombians, yeah. Torontoans, Tor Canadians. Yes. <laughs> Boston, pe people from Boston. Yeah. So um, when you go to the mall, you are going to the nations. How did you feel? Com did you feel comfortable on your first time out? I mean, yes, I did. You just encourage anybody that hasn't come out, you know, the opportunity is there. You can be a silent uh, prayer. You don't have to. You don't have to. You know, be put in, in a pressured position. But we'd love to have you from 12 to 2 on Fridays. Uh, God bless everybody.